If you trade stock and options, you fall under what's called the wash sale rules. Now, if you don't retain anything from this video today, you just need to remember that the most crucial time for you to pay attention to your wash sales is gonna be the months of December and January. If you make a mistake, it could come back to literally bite you in the In this video, we're gonna be looking at three ways you could avoid the wash sale nightmare. Let's go. What's going on everybody? Brian Rivera here, CPA, and I wanted to welcome you to the channel. On this channel, I typically talk about topics such as this to include personal finance, entrepreneurship, and day trading. So if this is your first time around here, consider subscribing. So if you've been around day trading for any period of time, you've probably heard a thing or two about wash sales. And as soon as you heard about it, you probably started doing your own research. And as you started going down that rabbit hole, you realize you don't know anything. And so now you're here. It doesn't help that the IRS guidance isn't clear. So trust me, I know. So throughout the year, as you're day trading, you're accumulating wash sales throughout the year on your open positions. For the most part, your taxable gain and your realized gain will match depending on when you check these reports. Now there are two crucial situations where wash sales will impact your year-end profit and loss. Number one, if you sell at a loss in December and then you buy it back within 31 days in January, this might have an impact on your year-end profit and loss. Number two, if you have open shares of a position with accumulated wash sales and you carry those into the next tax year, that's gonna have an impact on your year-end profit and loss number. What you do in the month of December and January can have an absolute profound impact on your year-end tax number. That's what you're gonna pay tax on. I remember a situation last year where I had a very successful trader. He was up six figures on the year, he was doing his thing. Situation happened in December where he took a very bad loss, wiped out his entire gain in the year. Super unfortunate. Now the situation that made this even worse is he turned around and bought that stock again in that same week. When he bought that stock in that specific, uh, during the week, he flagged what's called a wash sale. Well, when he flagged that wash sale, his loss got deferred into the next tax year. So in the current year, he ended up having to pay income tax on six figures of realized gain, when really on a net basis, he was flat on the year. Loss isn't all gone, it just gets deferred into the next tax year. But in that situation, if he understood the rules, then he wouldn't have been in that situation. So if you're an active day trader that qualifies for trader status, the most easiest way that you can avoid all this crap is you need to elect mark to market. Now, if you wanna know about the mark to market process, I'm gonna link a card above to where it's gonna to explain to you what mark to market is and how you can elect it on your own. Now for everybody else, you gotta stick through this video and listen to my three tips so that way you don't become a wash shell casualty. I'm dying to know if you guys are having problems uh, with the wash sale, whether that was in the past or currently um, you're having some difficulties with it. Maybe just drop a comment below. But let's get some quick education out of the way to make sure that you guys understand what a wash sale is and what type of trades can trigger it. Remember, wash sales are calculated across similar positions. And so a security or, 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 or shares of a stock and the option are considered similar classes of security. So you can flag a wash sale between stock and options. So if you long stock and you long a call option and you close or sell that position at a loss and in 30 days you buy back stock or you buy back that call option, you just flagged a wash sale. If you buy a put option and you sell or close it at a loss and in 30 days you buy back the stock you bought a call option or you bought a put option. Well, congratulations, you just flagged a wash sale. Now to all my short bros out there, we got it the worst. If you short stock, if you sell calls or if you sell puts and you close those positions at a loss and in 30 days you buy back stock, you short stock, you buy a call, you sell a call, you buy a put or you sell a put. In all of those scenarios, guess what? You just flagged a wash sale. Now, if you decide to break this rule, what's gonna happen is you're gonna flag a wash sale, which gets deferred to the next tax year. So it's not permanently lost, but it may or may not have an impact on your taxable gain or loss 
in that specific tax year. So now that we got the education component out of the way, let's go ahead and give you guys some practical advice on how you can avoid the wash sale nightmare. So number one, if you take a loss in the month of December, simply sit out of that stock and don't trade it for 31 days. Number two, you wanna close any open positions at year end that have accumulated wash sales. Now open positions or accumulated wash sales on open positions is very, very common for position traders. So if you're a position trader, basically what you're doing is you're trading around a core and you're trading in and out of that core and recycling your position, whether that's going up or going down. And if this is the case and if this is your type of strategy, what you wanna do is completely exit the position in December and sit it out. Don't touch it again for 31 days and you can continue with life. So number three, you wanna avoid trading in your taxable and non-taxable account. So what that means is you got a taxable account over here, you're subject to ordinary income tax. Then you got your non-taxable accounts, whether that's a Roth or a traditional IRA, these enjoy tax-free growth and depending on the type of account it is, then there's different tax treatment when you pull the money out. Anytime you flag a wash sale in an IRA account, now that loss is gonna be permanently disallowed. So it doesn't roll to the next tax year, it's completely eliminated and you can't use it. Now I'm a huge fan of IRA trading. I think it's one of the best ways, one, to avoid paying income tax now, and two is it's one of the best ways to build tax-free wealth. So basically you just need to be aware that any situations where trading in your taxable account might flag or trigger a wash sale in your IRA account. Now if it's a core part of your strategy, it's actually something that I'm gonna try and do more of next year, but if it's a core part of your strategy, the best thing you can do is just be alert of it. And if it happens, you either set it out or just be aware that you've just permanently lost any loss that you incurred inside that IRA account. Moral of the story. So remember that when you're trading, you're doing your thing, just remember that if you're under the wash sale rules, that the best time to be diligent is gonna be in the months of December and January. If you take a sizable loss, your radar needs to go off to say, okay, hey, let me make sure I don't screw myself come tax time. And let me just go ahead and sit it out. Because if you don't, and you decide to trade that stock again, it's gonna come back to bite you. So take your losses as necessary. You know, losses are definitely part of this game. And the other thing too is, remember, you're a day trader. So if you feel like you're gonna profit or you're gonna be successful in the month of December, by all means, do your thing and keep trading. So if you learned something from the three tips that I just shared with you and you found value in the content, don't forget to hit that like button. And I sincerely wish you guys the best of luck on your day trading journey. Have a good one.